Welcome to episode 326, Ted Learner, Richest Man from Maryland, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 326, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 326, lesson 6 to lesson 10. Lesson number 1, Plan A, Plan B, and Plan C. He started as a typist for the U.S. Army. This is Plan Zero. His plan A was to be a lawyer in 1951. He quickly found out he did not like being a lawyer. Plan B was founding Learner Enterprises and selling homes. His wife loaned him $250 and he succeeded. Plan C was to become a builder. In 1958, he built Wheaton Plaza. 1968, he built Tyson's Corner. He changed his plans three times in the first 15 years after high school. Lesson number two, best decision in his life was to marry his wife Annette. Annette loaned him $250 in 1952 to found his company, Learner Enterprises. Lesson number three, find good partners. His partner of 60 years was Albert Sonny Abramson. Albert was his childhood friend who is 10 years his senior. Albert Sonny Abramson also graduated with a law degree from George Washington University. Lesson number four, how to find real estate opportunities. He discovered real estate opportunities in three areas. First, in automobiles in the 1950s. Second, in the Beltway, which was built in 1961. Third, in Dallas Airport which was built in 1962. Lesson number five, the ultimate selling machine. From 1952 to 1960, he proved he was a selling machine. He reportedly sold 22,000 housing units before he became a builder. Lesson number six, worked very hard. In his 20s, he reportedly worked 18 hours a day for 10 years. Another proof is he went through undergraduate and law school at George Washington University in 41 straight months on GI Build. Lesson number seven, family feud. His only brother, Larry Lerner, had been suing him for 30 years since the 1980s, citing Ted Lerner had unfairly cut him loose from lucrative real estate contracts. Larry Lerner had won more than $1 million settlement from Ted Lerner. Lesson number eight, baseball or real estate, he applies the same business principles. From a business standpoint, not that real estate and building and construction is ever totally predictable in adult life. It's quite a different world, <laughs> uh, although at Lerner and building for the last 50 years, The same business principles exist on baseball. You have to make major decisions. And one of the decisions that you're faced with is that do you invest dollars and in, in time and effort in the short term or do you and take risks on the short term or do you go for the long term? Lesson number nine, buy and hold strategy. Ted Lerner is the biggest landlord in the metropolitan Washington, D.C. area, with thousands of apartment units and commercial offices. He's also the largest private landowner in the Washington, D.C. area. Lesson number 10, he invented the suburban downtown. The best example is Tyson's Corner. A place where people want to be. A place where they can work, shop, and live while leaving the car at home. By 2050, the comprehensive vision calls for an urban center with 200,000 jobs and 100,000 residents, 75% of all development to be within an easy half-mile walk from Metro. This is Tyson's Corner, which once was farmland in the 1960s. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.